What is good Tesla family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla why I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm going to talk about what the mainstream media has been saying about Tesla quite recently. I'm going to talk about what on earth Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk has put on his Twitter today regarding Tesla. He did like a tweet involving Tom Brady and Tesla. Now before I do get started with the Elon Musk tweets, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal taxation expert so not take this as financial legal taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me benefits the entire tesla community as a whole with all that junk out of the way guys let's get on with the videos looking at tesla from the one day chart we started off at 1055 we ran up to 1119 then we dropped to 1072 we ran up again to 1100 and then we closed at 1089 dollars a share that's very interesting guys we were up over 3.25 percent for the day and this was a good day in my opinion now i did tell you over the last few weeks that I did expect this week to be quite a bit of a interesting week with some sideways action but i told you guys that on monday tuesday and wednesday i expected green days for tesla as we did see a lot of red last week especially towards the end of it so i'm not surprised about this and i do want you guys to know that this is very 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 good in terms of the price action so check this out we ran up all the way up to 1119 dollars. that's indicative that the bulls people that have control over the price are now not just in control but we are playing a big role in dictating its overall price movement and this involves retail and institutions buying a lot of tesla guys and why are they buying tesla because this thing seems like a very very good steal right now compared to where it's going to be in the future now we did see a drop just like this which is just another indication that there can still be some sideways action now if i go to the very end we did close a little bit below the mean price towards the lower band and that to me does not matter no matter what anyone says because we are still up over 3.25 percent and tesla is still looking good now i want to show you guys something else that's very important let me bring up the six month chart real quick and we can see that if we look at the emas right now we can see that tesla looks very interesting okay we're seeing almost divergence like patterns forming now what does this basically mean this basically means guys that I do not see Tesla crashing to very low numbers. Now, I'm not saying that Tesla is going to explode overnight and go to all-time highs tomorrow. If that happened, I'd be excited. If it's Tesla, I wouldn't be surprised. But my point is, I don't see that happening so soon. What I do see happening is we could kind of trade a little bit sideways as these lines are indicating. But if anything, we're not going to crash. That's the big takeaway. There are people saying Tesla is going to crash. In my opinion, and based off these indicators, they are wrong. I do not see this thing crashing all the way down to the levels people are saying. And the reason why I'm talking about it potentially trading sideways is, is because the Elon Musk situation is not over. There's a possibility he could sell a little bit more. And even if he does, it doesn't necessarily matter because I know Tesla is going to improve. Now, in addition to that, I know Tesla is not going to crash, guys. It's not going to crash to low numbers. It's going to stay at a relatively high number above 1,000, in my opinion. And here's another indicator of that. The MACD is on the verge of crossing with the nine-day moving average. That just means that Tesla is gaining strength and we could see a more and more bullish moves come out out we could see a little bit of sideways trading but despite that i want to let you guys know it doesn't matter what tesla does because i'm i'm super super bullish i know this thing is going to break all-time highs in the next upcoming months i see this thing breaking two thousand three thousand four thousand dollars a share in the next few years i'm super super excited the rsi for the short term is showing 53.72 which shows tesla's building strength and it's getting more and more comfortable going up instead of going down that means that the support is really, really there, and this thing is not going to crash. In fact, it's getting ready to explode again, but it may take a few weeks to really get there as the situation, as I said before, is still capricious. Now, before I talk about what I think is going to happen tomorrow and my price predictions, let's get on with what the media is saying. So the NTSB has dropped the probe into the fatal 2020 crash involving a Tesla Model 3. I reported this yesterday to you guys, but I have another article that just came out today, and it actually shows even more data, which I think is very important. So basically, in Saratoga, California, in August 2020, there was a crash that happened. It was a fatal crash leading to fatal injuries for a 75-year-old man and his wife. And what ended up happening, guys, was 
the autopilot was engaged for some time. And then people automatically assumed that Tesla was at fault. Tesla is really, really bad, this and that. And it turns out that's not what actually happened. Basically, the investigation found some very interesting things based off some visual and audible alerts. They found that the driver did not have his hands on the steering wheel at first. So people assumed it was autopilot. However, however, guys, what happened was a Tesla accelerated it ended up accelerating and hitting a minivan and it turns out that the driver was the one that was actually pressing the accelerator to 95 percent and i also found that the tesla tried to stop that it says right over here the model 3 triggered an automatic emergency braking uh, reaction basically to avoid the crash first off the model 3 tried to stop it from happening then the driver accidentally kept on accelerating the car ended up going 114 miles per hour but the tesla was trying to stop it from crashing guys and it, it turns out the tesla couldn't stop it because the guy kept on accelerating he kept on pressing the accelerator by mistake and that led to the big 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 accident and it states somewhere right here right here it states that the conclusion found that neither tesla nor the vehicle was responsible for the crash that's good news the accident was caused by driver error that's what the investigation has found now i don't want to tell you guys that this is all good news because i'm very upset over the fact that someone got injured i really wish them the best but i do want to note that tesla was not responsible nor nor was the vehicle responsible for the crash this is what the investigation found so i'm really putting it out there that the full self-driving technology has it's not perfect it has a lot of improvements to be made but once again and in this instance, it tried to save the driver's life. It did a pretty decent job. And at the end of the day, it's not bad news for Tesla. In fact, this is very good news. For Tesla as well, Ross Gerber, who's the CEO of a huge company, he stated that Tesla is the king of EV transition. Another big piece of news making me very excited. Now, we don't need him to be the only one saying that. We There are plenty of plenty of people saying that. But once again, it's very good because he stated that he's very, very bullish. He's the CEO of Gerber Kawasaki uh, Wealth and Investment Management. He said he's very happy to get tesla at this price again if he was an investor into tesla he'd be super super excited because he's saying that this dip is a very good sale for tesla tesla's on sale right now guys once again very bullish news so the dip he's talking about if i bring up the three month chart the dip is like right over here we saw this dip right over here and right now we're still at a bit of a dip compared to where we were at the all-time highs which means we could see Tesla hit all-time highs again very, very soon, making me very bullish. We may see a little bit of sideways action for the next few weeks, like I said before, but eventually we're going to see all-time highs coming. I'm very, very bullish and excited. It was also noted that Tesla has announced that it, it has installed 250,000 power walls. Let's go, guys. Absolutely huge news. This is a milestone. So for those of you who don't know what this is, basically in 2016, Tesla introduced a power power wall too this means that you can take home energy storage and do some insane things you could actually store energy for houses in case they want to use it for other reasons or even save money and tesla has been on top of this they're taking the storage business the energy storage business by storm it states that there were tens of thousands of reservations for the device and now tesla has been making delivery after delivery selling more and more and more and in 2020 of may they sold 10 000, and now quite recently in november 2021 they've sold over 250,000 power walls globally once again it's an energy storage system that's absolutely amazing it shows that tesla is not just an electric car company it's also an energy company as well they are involved in the energy sector simultaneously selling energy to other people that makes me very excited and happy for this company huge 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 good news guys this definitely may have played a role in tesla having this big run up the way it did today uh, right over here sorry right over here very very good news now i also want to note this right over here it states that here's why battery manufacturers like samsung and panasonic and car makers like tesla are embracing COVID free batteries and it gives many many uh reasons and this is a very long long article but basically what it states is that 
COVID tends to not be very environmental friendly. It also tends to be very expensive and 70% of it is mined in Congo. So because of all the things out there, such as particular human rights abuses that may be involved in the mining of it, Tesla is already swaying away from COVID mining, using COVID mining for their batteries. It also provides low energy density, which means that these batteries could actually last a lot longer without COVID. So it's actually a very good thing for Tesla. Basically, the supply of lithium iron phosphate and the batteries are dominated right now by other Chinese companies. And it's helping Tesla. It's helping Tesla because the batteries could become cheaper without using this expensive process. It's a new innovation. And once again, really, really good. So well, I'm not going to go over every detail of the article. I'm just putting it out there that this, in my opinion, is good news for Tesla. It's really, really improving their efficiency of their batteries. But anyways, let me get on with the Elon Musk tweets. Some interesting things have come out. So right over here, Elon Musk liked this tweet right here. If you go to his likes, you're going to see this tweet. It states that quarterback, quarterback Tom Brady loves his tesla car and says moving to evs is super important elon musk like this he's very very excited and once again tom brady has insane insane influence and power because he is not only a celebrity but many consider him to be one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever lived if not the greatest and i'm just putting it out there he has a lot of influence and him saying this him saying that moving to evs is super important and saying that he loves tesla absolutely amazing guys amazing amazing news elon musk is obviously very happy about that he liked this in his twitter that makes me super bullish and excited because tesla is not only a brand but it's gaining more and more and more free advertising as people are not just advertising it just because they're you know paid from the back end they're advertising it because they authentically like this car there were other ceos that said similar things people love teslas guys they love this company they love the security features they love the car it's just amazing news additionally elon musk liked this tweet that says right over here this short drive from the gas station for windshield cleaner wasn't zero disengagement. It was zero touch. From the parking lot to parking lot, the human gave no input to control the car. It was 100% software control. Once again, showing that the car has insane potential. It's very, very good. And the full self-driving technology is improving. The car drove itself to a gas station, guys, for this person. They set it up that way. And the car was able to do that. They didn't even touch the steering wheel or anything like that. They're saying that the software has insane control. And that's just indicative that Tesla is also a software company. It's a hardware company. It's a, a AI company. It's everything in one. So Elon Musk liked that tweet. He's just reminding us about how awesome the full self-driving technology is. Now, it also states right over here, Tesla's original home state hits 1 million EV milestone as electric cars become California's biggest export so basically what's happening is i'm not going to pull up the article and go into too much detail from here but i'm just going to let you guys know that tesla's home state which is california has sold 1 million electric vehicles this month absolutely big news for the cec or the california energy commission people are very excited and happy about that and i'm not trying to say i'm pro california or anything like that i'm not trying to get political or anything i'm just putting it out there that this is a big milestone it's a big achievement and it makes me think about how far tesla has come to make these big 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 moves so once again huge news for tesla huge congratulations we're seeing milestone after milestone after milestone that makes me very bullish for this company elon musk liked this tweet guys he put this on his twitter and to me, huge news, guys. Very, very, very bullish news. So what do I see happening tomorrow? Like I told you guys before, I think that we had that support at 978 and we may not drop below there unless there's some external thing like Elon Musk selling a ton of Tesla shares. That can happen. It's a possibility. That's basically the only thing I could really see bringing this thing really down besides anything, some crazy piece of news that comes out. That's basically it. Otherwise, this thing should, could slowly start stair-stepping its way up, meaning I could see this thing drop and then go up and drop and go up slowly, slowly, slowly stair-step its way up and maybe go to 1200 very, very soon again. I do think we're going to have a strong year as it has been reported the s p is expected expected to have another big run before the year ends so tesla may have a big run as well it's just that i can't confirm that a hundred percent yet that tesla is going to run very very soon for the upcoming days and weeks i can't confirm it yet because the indicators are not showing that just yet the indicators are showing that tesla could trade a little bit of sideways before having that run up but regardless of that Regardless of any potential sideways action, I'm extremely bullish for the next few months, weeks, 
years, whatever you guys want to say. For the long term, I'm extremely, extremely bullish. For the short term, I do see maybe some sideways action, but eventually we're going to have a big reversal and all-time highs should be coming very, very soon. With that said and done, guys, thank you for listening. I know this video was a little bit longer than usual, but thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tesla's going to the moon. Thank you and peace out.